Okay, Mrs. Johnson, your first press conference. Are you ready? Actually, Rebecca, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> when I get nervous, my hair curls up. <laughs> I'm always nervous. <laughs> Bernard, you've heard a lot of first ladies give speeches. Do you have any advice for Catherine? Yes, sir, I do. Before every speech, Lady Bird Johnson would do 500 push-ups. Yeah, I'm not doing that. By the end of her husband's term, she could bench press Air Force One. What a woman. You know, when I speak in front of the press, I just like to imagine all of them in their underwear. Does that make you less nervous? No, I just think it's funny. <laughs> First Lady will present her platform and then she'll take just a few questions. Sounds good. And Mr. President, you can just sit back and let the First Lady shine. Oh, I will dim my light. Turn it off for once. Don't interrupt. I never interrupt. Honey, sometimes No, you... I don't, although sometimes I add or expand upon or spice up with a fun fact. I am turning off my light. Thank you all for being here today. I would like to talk to you about a subject that's near and dear to my heart, music. She always loved music. <laughs> I wasn't interrupting, sweetheart, I was expanding. Thank you. I do love music. That's why I would like to use my position as first lady to promote music programs in schools. Get to the part about companies donating instruments to kids in the inner cities. Apparently, I don't have to. Sorry. I mean, at least I didn't give away the name of the program. <laughs> yes, Holly? What is the name of the program? Music for everyone! <laughs> huh? It says it all, right? Totally her idea. Yes, it was. <laughs> yes, Holly? It sounds like a wonderful program. I'm curious if your own children play instruments. Uh, that's a very interesting question. Uh, very interesting. Of course they do. Yes, they play wonderfully, just like their mother. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I'd love to hear them. Why don't they have a recital? I don't know if that's such a good idea. <laughs> it's a wonderful idea. We will have a recital right here at the White House to kick off the program. <clears throat> Okay, that's all the questions we are taking for today. Thank you all for coming. What are you doing? What? I thought that went really well. A recital? Have you met our kids? <laughs> When's the last time you've seen them play an instrument? <laughs> yes! Kissing you. No, I'm kissing you. The press is so excited about the children's recital. My girl, you want a little tweet of? Yes, you do, yes, you do, yes, you do, 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 do. What are you doing, Bernard? Maxine wanted a biscuit after her arduous walk. These are dog biscuits? I've been eating them all week. Why are my hair so shiny? Bernard, where have you been? Uh oh, somebody else need to walk. Call it up. Get your leash and wait by the door. Speaking of dogs, why don't you roll over and play dead? You needed something, madam. Did you take the morning show? The cast of ex-wives, ex-basketball players who were ex-cons was on. I heard they were over there throwing drinks and grabbing weeds. A pressing matter, as always. But I was walking Maxine. We could hardly make it down Pennsylvania Avenue. Everyone just loves Maxine. It's like walking Justin Bieber. She's popular like that? Certainly, she's huge on Twitter. Millions of followers. All of that for a dog? Not just any dog, the first dog. Hmm? Seems as if everyone wants their own Maxine. Come, come, girl. Oh, dog is a star. <laughs> Maybe we can rent her out. 
Take a picture with the first dog, 20 bucks. Pet the first dog, 30 bucks. Pick up the first dog's business, priceless. <laughs> Bunch of little Max seed. We get our preggers, then we sell those puppies for some serious cash. Ooh, you are on to something, Corella. Presidential <laughs> pups. Now we just gotta find a dog to breed her with. Yeah. What you doing later? <laughs> I wonder if they could play air guitar. Sounds like an elephant with a cold. Using a jackhammer in a storm while being eaten by a lion. See what you get when you interrupt? This is all your fault. I'm sorry. I thought I was being supportive. Supportive would have been simply smiling and nodding your head. See? Bernard's got it. Okay. Now that we got them all excited about this recital, it is your responsibility to tell them that it is off. Just be straight with them and tell them they are awful. I can do this. I can do this. I am the president of the United States. I can't do this. Maybe they're really not that bad. Okay, just... In all my 33 years on this earth, I have never heard anything this bad. 33? Hush. They were terrible. Well, they, they were trying. But this is what you get when you live in a household where you're told everything you do is great. Nowadays, kids get a trophy just for going to the potty. And a gold star for flushing. I blame the parents. Nobody knows how to raise kids anymore. Hello. We're right here, Mom. Had to be said. And who do you think we were talking to? The furniture? I can't believe they got a dating website for dogs. I can't believe you are not on it. Stay focused, Fido. Gotta find a nice man for Maxine. Right, sweetie? <laughs> she excited. Ah, uh, yeah, Spaniel. He says he's playful and high-spirited. Mm-mm, playful, high-spirited just means he's a drunk. Okay, look at this. Schnauzer. He says the breed is not much of a work dog like you. Look who's talking about. Ah, here we go. Italian Greyhound. Ooh, I've always had good luck with Italians. But he's like a player. He's just gonna have his way with it be going in the morning. We're not gonna walk her down the aisle. This is business. But there has to be some romance. Okay. What would you be looking for if you were a dog? And I use that term if loosely. Well, somebody who's there for you, somebody who brings you flowers, somebody who wants to cuddle afterwards for more than five minutes. You're talking about a bulldog. Because everything you just said is bull. Just let Maxine choose her own man. Now look at here, Maxine. Now, which one of these pooches tickles your fur? <laughs> that means don't call me. I call you. You speak dog? I've been talking to you for years. <laughs> A whimper. That's the kind of reaction you used to. <laughs> There's no way anyone will be able to listen to that. Don't worry, honey. I called my old music teacher. She is so tough and really scary. I feel a little scary right now. <laughs> but she'll get the job done. Hi, babies. Hey. Hi, Grandma. Your mother? When it comes to music, she doesn't play. <laughs> you two might want to leave. My methods are a little controversial. Well, actually, Mom, I was thinking that we I should... said get. need strong diaphragms to play music. <laughs> you need strong arms to play music. <laughs> you need good stamina to play music. You need good footwork to play music. It doesn't even sound right. Are you eyeballing me? No, ma'am. Well, I was hard on you. But I think you'll see it was worth it. Okay, kids, let's show them what you got. And one, and two. <laughs> and 
and I quit. <laughs> the kids are going to be awful, and my music program is going to be a laughing stock. I can't believe we let this happen. Honey, it's not our fault. You're right. It's your fault. <laughs> Excuse me? I tried to get them interested in music, and I needed your help, but you were always too busy. I'm the president of the United States. Is that your excuse for everything? <laughs> I can't take Lucas to drum practice because I have a meeting with the prime minister of Luxembourg. The prime minister is very long-winded, wouldn't shut up. My country is very tiny. This makes it difficult for me to negotiate in the way that I need to. <laughs> we need to stick together on this. Yeah, yeah, you're right. The kids' fault. Absolutely. <laughs> Just because they didn't take lessons doesn't mean they couldn't have learned to play. I mean, I did not take walking lessons, and I can make it across the room just fine. <laughs> right, right. I didn't take breathing lessons, and yet look at me. Doing it right now. I don't want them to be embarrassed. Maybe we can make up an excuse and cancel the recital. What kind of excuse? Maybe I can blame Congress. That's my go-to. Mom, Dad, I've been practicing all day. I'm so excited about the recital. You are? Yeah, I'm going to wear my favorite pink dress. <laughs> Great. Now we can't cancel. Maybe we can hide that pink dress. My dogs are barking. <laughs> what are they up to? Do you really want to open up another can of crazy right now? <laughs> His profile said he was 150 pounds. And also said he was mostly wolfhound. I don't see any wolf, and I barely see any hound. I thought only humans lied on their profile. I bet you he's not a doctor either. Uh, let's do this. King, Maxine, Maxine, King, go. Wait a minute, you're not putting him out on a stroll. You gotta get him in the mood to do some puppy making. Put a little Luther Vandross on. Luther Vandross? Oh, no, no, that's holding hand music. We want getting busy music. And there's only one way to go. Marvin Gaye. Let's get it on. All I know is when Luther's on, Pauletta's on. Well, if anybody know what a dog likes, it's you. Oh, leave me alone. The dog is you 7,000 years old. Hey, ooh, look at here. I hear the cash register. Ching, ching Oh, those darn kids are practicing for that recital. Hey, where they going? Ladies and gentlemen of the press, thank you for coming to our little recital. Don't the children look nice? <laughs> Would it be wrong if we snuck out now? Which way are you going to run? Because I don't want to trip you. As you know, my platform is music for everyone. <laughs> but keep an open mind. <laughs> Most people feel that music is about pretty melodies and appealing to the ear. That is so yesterday. <laughs> Today, we believe children simply holding instruments is a good start. So without further delay, here are my husband's, excuse me, <laughs> I mean, here are our children. teacher anyway. I don't know. <laughs> Let 
the dogs in. I've been asking that question ever since I met Pauletta. <laughs> Your best <laughs> This recital just got a whole lot better. Stop right there. What was that about? This idea was all her fault, son. What? This was your idea. I don't care whose idea it was. Wait, what was the idea? You know how popular Maxine is? So we figured little Maxines would be just as popular and very profitable. You talking millions. And trust me, we've been planning on cutting you in eventually. There are so many things wrong with that plan. But let me start with the fact that Maxine is fixed. You mean fixed up with somebody else? No, fixed as in spade, as in never having puppies, ever. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Dad, I ask that you please return this dog to its owner. Now, I have to go in there and face the music. <laughs> Literally. Oh, I told you this was a bad idea. Oh, no, you are not going to blame this all on me. I'm going to fix you. Too late. Look at your face. Already did the trick. And I was the only kid in second grade who could play hot cross buns. <laughs> when I was in the third grade... You're losing them. Okay. <laughs> Wait. I, I, I want to be honest with you. I know I've said that everyone should play an instrument because everyone has talent. The truth is... Well... You know what, honey? There are many different kinds of talent. And the older generation just tries to help the young ones find theirs. Come on, Edie, let's show them how it's done. Yeah, child, let a 23-year-old lead the way. 23? Apparently, my mother's younger than me. <laughs> Edie, what would we have done with that music? I can tell you this much. We wouldn't have kids. <laughs> have been my first answer. <laughs> but when I was a little girl, I was in the church choir, and I sang first alto. Carolyn, we... Carolyn, can we do this before I turn 24? <laughs> Come on, girl. I know you remember this one. <laughs> this little light of mine This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Come on, we're gonna do this, okay? Here we go. This little light of mine, yes. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. So, overall, I think the recital went quite well. What did you think, Bernard? It's 11.30, sir. Okay. But what did you think about the children? Your blue suit is hanging in your closet. Bernard, sir. what's wrong with you? Can't, can't you hear me? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I've been wearing these for days. You haven't heard the children's music all week? No, sir. And it was wonderful. Why are they still playing? You call that playing, sir? I always keep a spare set handy. <laughs> <laughs>